G'day everyone and welcome to the NFL Player of the Day. The Round 13 NFL broadcast match saw McLeod go down by 4 points to West Preston Lakeside at home after Oliver Duffacy bagged his third goal with only minutes remaining to give the Roosters the lead and the eventual win. He kicked 3 on the day and Oliver is our Round 13 Norellan Pools Player of the Day and we headed down to West Preston Lakeside during the week to have a chat with him. 88 to 86, the Oliver Point, Oliver Green, Maple, kicks on the way. Oh, Darcy, congratulations on your game on the weekend. Thank you very much, mate. And you headed to McLeod on the weekend to take on the Kangaroos. You got home in really what was a thriller. It was a game that could have gone either way, and you were lucky to get the points in the end. As if we were very lucky. We know that uh, there was a tight game, we knew that they were they're starting to hit form and we knew from the start of the week or that they were, they were always in for a chance and it was going to be a great game. Yeah, and you, as we said, you kicked the final goal of the game to get your team home. Um, the match was close all day, we played the lead for most of the match, but you were never really out of it. You managed to just hang in there and probably be two to three goals down. But by three quarters long, you got within two points. What was the coach's message at three quarters time? Um, yeah, Frankie came out at three quarter time, and uh, he, we know as a team that we can. The last quarter, we switch on. Like that's our, probably our strongest quarter. And um, he came out, and all the boys knew that we were in for in to finish it off. We we played the last quarter well the last few weeks against Greensea and Altham, so we knew we were in for a chance, and we just had to go away with it. Yeah, and you played a starring role down forward. You kicked the final goal, or what turned out to be the final goal of the match, and the match winner. What was the pressure like lining up for that shot? I think we were about 45 metres out, probably one of the last kicks of the day. Well, I didn't actually know that. I thought that there was still another 10 minutes left in the quarter. I thought that the quarter went like a flash. And, um, but, yeah, no, there was pressure. I just tried to take it as a normal kick and go back. That's it. It just came off. Yeah, and just on West Preston Lakeside season so far, you sit fifth at the moment, so in the finals race, that's probably on the back of winning three of your four over the last month. What have you seen as sort of the catalyst for that form turnaround being able to win those three or four matches? Before the games, I've had a chat with the coach and he's come up and said that there's, a, there's an opportunity there to continue with my position there and bring the team up. I knew that the few games that we had coming up now are obviously crucial to for our season, they were important games, and um, oh, we just knew that yeah, those last three games leading into the bye were something that we had to take away. And you spent most of the last year in the reserves, you got your senior call up early this season. Who's been someone here that I suppose, either from the reserves or from the seniors, that has helped you with that transition and someone that probably helped improve your game? Uh, the twos coach, uh, Max Lehman, he, he's helped me out. He was last year when we were watching the uh, the grand final replay, the two is in the rooms here. He came up to me and just said, I looked a bit slow and over pre-season, took that in, dropped 18 kilos and took it on board. And he's probably been my role model. He knew that, he knew from since I started playing here at West that I could play and he's looking after me, he's helping me out. And just on yourself, of Irish heritage, your father came out here from Ireland. All he knew was really daily, but you've really, I suppose, taken that and applied it to Aussie rules football. I've tried, yeah, Dad was always around Gaelic and since, since I could remember I was watching him playing Gaelic and I knew that no, it wasn't a question if I was going to play or not, I just knew that I was always going to be around and having an older brother Michael who's, who's also loves his footy, it's, I was always always around him. Yeah, have you ever played Gaelic yourself or has it just been fully Aussie rules? I, did, I had played Gaelic, there was a competition there a couple of years ago, I played in the big mine, it was just a competition that my dad organised. So yeah. Yeah, such as straight out from Ireland and a few of the Irish boys got the team together and a few of the boys here from West Preston and brought them all down and played a competition over in Sydney one year in Adelaide, New Zealand, so yeah, we've been all around. And, okay, beautiful. Yeah. And just speaking to a few people in the club and you mentioned earlier, your fitness has been one of the big improvers in the off season. As we said, you've played a lot of twos for you last year, you've come into the ones. What sort of amount of work you had to put in over the off season to I suppose prepare your body for the rigors of senior footy? Well, it was all yeah. Last year, leading up, leading up before Christmas, now it was a few months. Just again, I was talking to Keezy and he told me that I could be a great footballer if I got in shape and I took it on board. And just it was just early mornings before school, studying up at six down the reservoir, leisure centre, just swimming, running, doing anything I can. And 
again, yeah, it's paying off now. Yeah, like you said, really is paying dividends. Now, you've played a starring role up forward over the past couple of weeks. You lead uh, West Preston Lakeside's goal kicking at the moment. That's probably on the back of 11 goals in the last three games. Do you really feel as though you belong in that forward line? And what is the forward line mix here down at West Preston? I do, yeah, for sure. I mean, Frank's he's putting time and effort into me and make sure that he knows that I am capable of it. He's always looking after me, making sure that I know that I'm capable of dealing with the bigger boys and the speed of the game. And, um, Again, yeah, the four line, no, the structure is good. We've got James McInerney, he's down forward as well. Me and him, I think we work pretty well together. Have an Albie down forward and Shory every now and again. It's, there's a strong leadership down forward. Yep, and just finally, can you give us a bit of an insight into the preparation or game day routine that you guys run through down here at West Preston Lakeside? Oh, well, it starts off, we all come down, we go out to the middle of the field down the twos game half time and have a chat over the ground. Bring in one of the boys, Beatty, brings in the, the stereo, play some music, but it's just usually just sit down and just relax before the game, think about what the job is. Again, Frank will come around, we'll have a chat, let you know what he's expecting, and you just think about the game ahead, just keep relaxing until you get out there and then be ready for it. Yeah, definitely. Well, Oliver, thanks for joining us today. I really do appreciate your time coming in and having a chat with us. Oliver is our round 13 Norellan Bulls player of the day. He wins a $100 prepaid FBOS card with thanks to Norellan Bulls. Oliver, thank you for your time and good luck for the rest of the season.